Well, among the sights and crowds and cars at this weekend's Indy 500, you'll see a lot of the color yellow. The IMS Safety Patrol, or yellow shirts as we know them, protect and guide fans at IMS, and they've been doing that for more than 70 years. Leah Blackburn talked to the crew about how the last few years have been different. This is my 50th anniversary as a yellow shirt. In all those years, you could say Steve Summermeyer has seen a lot. And last year, we just didn't know what to expect. For last year's Indy 500, the coronavirus delayed the race until August and no in-person fans were allowed. And in recent months, the IMS transformed into the greatest spectacle in vaccines, distributing tens of thousands of COVID-19 shots in drive through fashion, crossing the finish line of hope in the race against the virus. Everybody's got a little extra spring in their feet, in their step. Now, with 135,000 fans expected on Sunday and vaccine clinics inside, Steve and the yellow shirts are revving up for the comeback. Whether it's to problem solve. They have an issue, like they lost power in one of the garages, or a restroom is not functioning, or we have a lost child, and I try to connect the dots. Or serve a watchful eye. I'm usually over here because I could be there, the eye in the sky and detect where big crowd or pinch points are. After 50 years, there's no place he'd rather be in the month of May than in that yellow shirt, a bright spot after a challenging year. Sense of accomplishment, but there's also uh, a satisfaction that you know we help, help make it happen. Leah Blackburn, CBS 4 News. Summer Meyer says IMS is always looking for more yellow shirts from all over the country. While it's too late to work the 500 on Sunday, he says you can apply for the Brickyard later this year or for the race next year.